as you aptly noted, uh, the history of how we got to this point uh, needs to not be lost in this debate. And I know there's some who also want to now talk about the cuts that were made in agreement with the administration last year, uh, along with those uh, additional revenues which were approved in January, as somehow the answer uh, for why there not needs to be no additional revenue. That doesn't take into account the $85 billion of cuts that are now uh, upon us under the sequester. And I'd like to just hit on three additional points, if I could. One is the unemployment uh, impact. You know, we're focused on growing the economy, putting people back to work. In my home state of Nevada, we still have an unemployment rate above the national average. While our numbers are coming down, uh, we don't need to add anyone to the unemployment uh, lines. And under the sequester, some 750,000 to 1 million Americans will end up losing their jobs unless this Congress comes together and finds a solution, a balanced approach, as you indicate. Um, in Nevada, that's 10,000 lost jobs. And of those jobs, the main areas that will be affected are the civilian positions at our Air Force bases, Nellis Air Force Base, Creech Air Force Base, and the Hawthorne Army Depot. It's estimated that some 1,400 furloughs will occur to civilian jobs, amounting to $11 million in lost wages. These aren't just lost wages to these individuals and their families. It's $11 million less of economic recovery that we so desperately need. Uh, and then when you talk uh, about our tourism and the impact to travel, the FAA will be required to cut its operational activities by nearly $483 million. As a consequence, consequence, all FAA employees could be furloughed for 11 days, meaning as much as 10% of the FAA's workforce of 40,000 would be on furlough on any given day. So for those of us who travel, uh, states like ours, yours in New York, that rely on a tourism uh, to, to fuel our economies, that is going to affect our abil ability to recover. On top of that, Nevada will lose funds for job search assistance to help those who are currently looking for work. Nevada could lose upwards of $300,000 in funding for job search assistance, referral and placement, meaning that 10,000 fewer people will get the help that they need for the skills to help them find another job. So these are the dire impacts uh, that, that we see talking to our constituents, and these are the real impacts that, that we believe that needs to be addressed by this Congress in a balanced approach. I, I yield back.